And so, at last, they're off. It's a long way to Tipperary, and over a thousand members of the Parachute Regiment Association, which was established by Winston Churchill in 1942. Applause as they march past, led by General Sir Anthony Farrah Hockley, who escaped six times as a prisoner of war in Korea, who took part in Cyprus and Aden, and became Colonel Commandant of the Parachute Regiment in 1977. General Farrah Hockley is one of the most decorated men in the British Army. His son's just retired this year as a Major General, and he was telling me, we were talking about comradeship earlier, that he went off this year, sadly, off to the North Country to bury Sergeant Ted Butler, who won at Goose Green a military medal. So the spirit in the Parachute Regiment, one of the youngest regiments in the British Army, but with bath on as second to none, is as strong as ever. We saw earlier a film of the 1st Airborne Division's attempt to take the bridge at Arnhem and members here will have taken part in that operation and indeed included among them are the Market Garden Veterans Society, it's a curious name, it's the code name for the operation, the biggest airborne landing ever attempted in history in September 1944 in Holland and the word market referring to the airborne troops garden, meaning the ground troops. It was an attempt by Montgomery to speed up the ending of the war. Still members of the Parachute Regiment, some of them now retired and gone to live in the Royal Hospital Chelsea. There's two pensioners we saw wearing those splendid uh, Carolean frock coats, the red frock coats, are actually Ralph Dickinson, who served 19 and a half years in the Parachute Regiment, and Stan Pepper, who served 17 years in the Parachute Regiment, which just shows that Chelsea pensioners today are people who served well after the war. And also on parade with the Parachute Regiment, invited here today, some of the American veterans from 82nd Airborne, in uh, white caps, if we can spot them. And here we can see members of the Army Air Corps marching along there. One of the proudest units of the Army Air Corps was the Glider Pilots Regiment. And the Glider Pilot Regiment flew these wooden gliders that landed all over Arnhem, all over Sicily. And then the sergeant pilots came out, and there was no escape and evasion for them. They fought their way out. And as you look at a magnificent set of medals like that, you realize just how heroic and how strongly these men fought. contingent immediately behind.